for as long as I can remember, Lyft has charged riders $5 on qualified cancellations and given all of that money to drivers. Very admirable of them. But unfortunately, now those days are over and there's a new system in place. So will you make more or less with the new system? So for years, Uber has actually taken a 20 to 25% service fee on all cancellations by passengers. The passenger gets charged $5 for a cancellation. After Uber takes their 20%, the driver receives $4. And until now, Lyft has not done this. So Lyft has been charging riders $5 for cancellations and been giving all of that money to drivers. They have not taken a service fee at all. Again, this is admirable. This is millions of dollars that they have forgone over the years and given directly to drivers. Well, it was a good run. They recently announced a new cancellation compensation model for drivers that involves a $2 minimum and time and distance driven before a cancellation is made. And this is a nationwide change. Every city now has this policy. Now with every cancellation, a driver will earn at least $2, but can also earn a maximum of $15. As far as scheduled rides, there is now a $5 minimum and the same $15 maximum, and riders will still be paying $10 for every scheduled cancellation and how the cancellation fee is calculated will be based on your personal per mile and per minute rates. For example, my per mile rate is 68 cents and my per minute rate is 20.8 cents. So if someone canceled on me after I drove three miles and five minutes toward their pickup location, I would get paid $3.08 for that cancellation. So Lyft would be taking nearly a $2 service fee from the cancellation fee that all riders still pay automatically. But also, if I drove, say, 6 miles in 10 minutes, I would get paid $6.16. So Lyft would need to fork over an additional $1.16 on top of the $5 cancellation fee that riders pay. And as far as analyzing this cancellation policy, I'd say my average pickup is no more than 2 miles away. So in order for me to earn at least $5 on a cancellation, I'd have to drive those 2 miles and wait 17 and a half minutes, and that would get me $5. So it's, I'm almost never probably going to earn $5 again on cancellations. This is a bummer for drivers, but does make sense in how Lyft and Uber have moved towards compensating drivers by paying drivers for actual time and distance driven. And this cancellation compensation model is something that I think Uber will eventually adopt as well. And we contacted Lyft to get their reasoning why this change was made. And they said, we recently updated our cancellation policies to simplify the overall experience and better align driver pay to their efforts, compensating drivers for time and distance on their way to pick up a passenger with the $2 minimum payment. So I don't know how this simplifies the experience. It was a simple experience before. On all cancellations, drivers got paid $5. And yes, this does better align driver pay with their actual efforts. But this is a pay cut for drivers on cancellations. That's just a fact. So how will this work out for Lyft financially? I'm guessing this is going to generate a lot more revenue for them. Again, over the years, very admirable. They have not taken a service fee on cancellations. They've given all that money to drivers. But now, with this new compensation model, Lyft could be actually getting a majority of the $5 cancellation fee on a lot of rides. So drivers will still at least earn $2 on all cancellations. But I'm guessing a lot of these cancellations, Lyft may actually be taking $3. So compared to the $0 versus $3, which would be 60% of a cancellation fee, that's a lot more money coming towards Lyft. And they do have the $15 maximum on cancellations, and that is $10 above what the passenger pays on a cancellation, but that will be very rare and hardly ever reached. And there will sometimes, and I would guess very infrequently, be times where a driver gets paid more than $5 for a cancellation. So Lyft will actually have to be compensating these drivers directly for anything over $5 because passengers still only pay the $5. And Lyft is going to be getting so much money on cancellations now that they'll have enough money stockpiled to pay drivers on these rare occurrences where a driver does earn more than $5 on a cancellation. So the good old days of getting paid $5 for every cancellation are now gone. Overall, drivers cannot be surprised by a change like this. These companies need to start making a profit, so I suspect they'll continue to look for opportunities like this. So what are your guys' thoughts about this new cancellation compensation model, and were you aware of it? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and drive safe. Thanks.